pretty festive start to this vlog. A church, a Christmas tree and a Christmas market. Hi guys, it's the end of November and I'm going to begin my Christmas shopping. I'm going to do my first piece tonight. So I thought I'd share that with you. And I'm able to share it with you because this present will be given before Christmas and open before Christmas. All will make sense in a little while, so let's go. Starting this year's Christmas shopping at Fortnum and Masons. Fortnum's is a grand old store and has become a popular destination for tourists as well as being a fully functioning department store much used and loved by Londoners. First founded in 1707 by a former footman of Queen Anne, apparently the royals liked fresh candles each day so William Fortnum had a sideline selling the used ones and the profits funded the formation of this more respectable business with business partner Hugh Mason who was already trading in St James's Market and from a far more modest store in St James's Market after 300 years of innovation and continued success they currently call home 181 Piccadilly. Shopping here is unique and although more synonymous with luxury and the exotic it is still a great place to pick up everyday items. They, they claim to have invented the Scotch Egg, which they still sell today. I love a Scotch Egg, so thank you for that. Their range right now includes a black pudding one, which sounds interesting, so I might have to try one. And apparently they were Mr. Hines' first distributor of baked beans here, so they were responsible for introducing the UK to tins of Heinz baked beans. Each year their amazing festive window displays alone attract many visitors. I've mentioned the store before, I love the food hall on the lower ground floor, but what they are particularly handy for is gifts. They always have something a little special and for every occasion. They put a lot of thought and effort into the minor details and their Christmas gift range is extensive and exceptional. They are world renowned for their hampers. Every store does them these days, but there is nothing ubiquitous about Fortnum and Mason's hampers. They're an amazing gift, I've given them before, and the recipients really loved them. Okay, this is us, floor three and the Christmas department. The first item of Christmas shopping this year is an advent calendar for my girlfriend, Chloe. I think I've said this before, Christmas is about giving, and giving to get is bad form. But in the season of giving, it can't do any harm to brighten up your partner's day a little every day in the weeks and the days leading up to Christmas. It may make the whole season merrier for you. So I'm getting Chloe a chocolate filled advent calendar. I checked the range on their website before visiting and they have one containing a selection of pink Marc de Champagne truffles, passion fruit truffles, gin and lime truffles, hazelnut marzipan and vanilla cream fudge all from their confectionery counter on the ground floor and I know she likes Fortnum chocolates as she's shopped here for them on occasion herself. They have these wooden advent calendars and musical ones too which look amazing and you can get a refill pack for them each year. They have tea filled versions and even a whiskey filled one and gin filled ones. I think beauty products, beauty filled ones are popular and have been for the last couple of years. They don't have them here and I'm not sure that's a great gift idea unless specifically requested or you hope to see a marked improvement over the 24 days because that's kind of what you'll be inadvertently hinting at. So I'm assuming popular culture and sticking with tried and tested gifts that has never previously failed, chocolates. As they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, the checkouts and gift wrapping appear to be down here behind the Christmas cards. Let's go and settle up. Okay, I've paid for the advent calendar so we can leave now. It looks like they have some amazing festive things up here. Lots of Christmas decorations for your home and tree. They look like they'll brighten up any room over the holidays. They have games and gifts for dinner party guests, Christmas cards, and Christmas crackers. Some of those look pretty luxurious. One set I just noticed costs a thousand pounds per half dozen and contains luxury gifts. 
if you get those your guests will probably take pulling them more seriously and they'll no doubt be back at yours for Christmas lunch and dinner every year. The advent calendars range from 7 to 160 pounds. This chocolate one was 35 pounds. It's not the most lavish one they have, but I think it's the one she will enjoy the most. Let's hope she enjoys it. As I said earlier, people come here just to admire the magnificent window displays each year. So while we're here, before we go, let's go and take a look at the windows, see people taking photos of them, selfies. So let's get involved. There's a small selection of their world-renowned hampers and gift boxes. Oh, I think that Rolls Royce caught my eye and the cameras. So let's back up and get back on track with the Christmas windows and not cars. guys short and sweet this time if you like this video please hit the like button and if you'd like to be the first to see my new films the subscribe button toodles